hey everybody welcome back to my channel today is the best day of the week face beat friday today is going to be a voiceover day i hope you enjoyed the smooth melodic sounds of my voice because my camera said oh no i'm not recording your audio for this video <laughs> I'm going to be giving y'all a natural brown smoky eye look, something that will be really nice and easy to wear during the panoramic. And I will be using a few new products and I'll give my thoughts on those products as the video continues. If you want a full breakdown list, all you have to do is drop down in the description box. Y'all check it out because there's always a lot of good things down in that description box. So I started off by priming my face with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, one of my go-to primers nowadays. And now I'm just setting it with some loose setting powder. This gives you oil control as well as a light layer of coverage. Because this look that I'm doing, or initially I did not want it to be a heavy look, I really did want it to be extremely light, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. But because I did want this look to be a little bit lighter and not so much full coverage, I was using this little trick that I got from Aunt Jackie to kind of cheat some extra coverage, especially because y'all know this panoramic got your skin doing all kind of crazy things. So the first new product that I'm using today is this Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. I got this a few months ago out of my BoxyCharm video and this was actually my first and slick only time using this product. As you can see, I kind of put it directly on my face. You don't have to. You can really just like put this on with your fingers because it is a moisturizer but because I was trying to use this as a foundation I was like well let me put a little bit more on and blend it out with my brush but as you can see this color honey this color uh yeah I look like a ghost but it's okay, I know what to do to fix it. So I'm just gonna go back in with my Minted Cosmetics Foundation Stick. This is in the color M40. And it is a uh, dark skin color with a little cooler undertone. And I'm just gonna put that kind of around the outside of my face and use this lighter moisturizer color more so in the center of my face. And it's gonna all blend out together in the end, I promise you. But. For sure when it comes to those tinted moisturizers they don't make many colors and the ones that they do make for dark skin yeah there's no way that I could just use that color alone so that's why I have not reached for it but once I blended it in with my traditional minted founded foundation stick it, it worked out I wasn't mad at it now I'm going in with my Too Faced concealer I'm doing that eye lift technique that I've been seeing all over the TikTok. Well, or should I say I started trying to do it, but y'all y'all know I have dark circles up under my eyes. So I still ended up blending it through just a little bit. While I'm letting that concealer dry down, going in with my Juvia's Place Chocolates palette and setting on my transition color. I'm taking that color and spreading it all over the lid nice and evenly and I even kind of pull this color down a little bit more onto the bridge of my nose kind of going ahead and laying the blueprint for where I will later put like my contour slash bronzer type product boom baby Now I'm gonna mix two shades, this nice little kind of chocolatey maroon shade from the Jackie Aina palette and this warmer dark brown from the Chocolates palette. And I'm putting it in like my outer V. And this is kind of really smoking it out. I wanted to mix those shades because I wanted the colors to be just like a little richer and I liked the warmth that you get from the like kind of purplish, maroonish reddish shade from the Jackie Aina palette and then that deep shade so you know creating a custom color honey so now I'm going in with my brush because I feel like my concealer has dried down enough to give me the coverage that I want and I'm 
placing that concealer exactly where I want it to be. That's why I like to go in with the brush because I can get a little bit more precision on the placement. But after I get it kind of where I want to go, I'm going to moisten my beauty blender with a little bit of urban decay setting spray and then kind of blend it out a little bit more with my sponge now we're going to go back to the eyes and we're going to use that light brown color out of the chocolates palette and I started off by brushing this color on but it wasn't giving me the payoff that I really wanted so then I decided to go back and really pack that color on and once I got it kind of built up to the like level of brightness that I wanted then I buffed out the edges so that it would blend in with those browns that I made as my transition colors. Now I'm going to take the Spell Binder by MAC. I actually did a whole video on these because they were definitely limited edition and this particular eyeshadow was a little bit old so I'll leave the card up on the screen for my original video. And I'm placing it just kind of right on the inside of my eye just for like a little pap pop of holographic color but don't worry because I'm going to go back in and utilize this color another way I decided to zoom in a little bit because I really want y'all to be able to see the reflection that it gives it gives the eye like a kind of cool little like mirrory type of trick so I'm using my rare beauty liquid liner and I'm going to line my eyes and then after I line my eyes I'm going to take that spell binder eyeshadow once again and then I'm going to tap it on top of the line. I like to kind of do it this way because it shows me where the eyeshadow should go and it also kind of gives the eyeshadow something to stick to so it makes it pop the color payoff pop just a little bit more. We're going to take that same shade that we used earlier and I'm just going to place it right on my under eye. You know, just to give my under eye a little bit of color. You don't want it to be completely bare. And I'm not going to do a whole bunch under my eye. This also adds to the kind of brown smoky effect. So you can always smoke this brown out as little or as much as you would like. It's a Pandarosa. I'm not wearing lashes, so mascara time. I'm using the Saharan 2 blush palette by Juvia's Place. This is still one of my favorite blush palettes. And I believe this is the color B. Of course, I'm going to use the color B, honey. Duh. You already know that's my favorite color. I'm just saying. Why wouldn't it be? At this point, I was noticing a little bit of separation right on my under eye, so I went back with a little bit of blue setting powder. I did skip that step. I was hoping that I would be able to skip that step, but uh, yeah, the way that my under eyes are set up, that was a negatory, so I went ahead and just kind of placed it right up under my eye, and then I blended it out with a brush. I'm using the color Bobby from the Contourization notebook from the crayon case this is a old contrasition notebook as you can see honey I'm hitting pan on this own little sun setting they don't even have this same design anymore don't judge me judge your mama now it's time to set my face with a little bit of my little baking spray and my what fan I love this part this is my favorite part of doing my makeup I just feel so luxurious don't judge me honey I told y'all about judging me I use a lot of products to get the perfect lip look so I'll just list them all down in the description box because I used some minted products some Fenty products and some MAC liner it was, it was a lot don't yeah it, it's just a lot to get that perfect lip look that I wanted for this look so yeah it's in the description box check it out if you have not already So this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this quick little Face Beat Friday video. I tried to give you something cute, natural, fun that is perfect for what we're dealing with right now. Make sure you join me and come back each and every week for my videos. And if you are not a Patreon, what are you doing? You want to get your name on this list. Link is where? In the description box. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.